We're often told that we all have to be better listeners. You should listen more, we're often told. But the problem is, as human beings, we communicate. And communication involves both listening and speaking. So simply telling people to be a better listener is actually not very helpful advice. Nelson Mandela is regarded as one of the world's great leaders. And the reason Nelson Mandela is a very important case study is because he is universally regarded as a great leader. No matter what country you go to in the world, people will acknowledge his leadership ability. Other leaders, depending on the nations you go to, it changes. But Nelson Mandela is universally regarded as a great leader, which is why he's an important case. And a journalist once asked him, how did you become a great leader? Now, Mandela actually grew up the son of a tribal chief. And he said to this journalist, I remember when I was a boy, I would attend tribal meetings with my father. And I always remember two things. One, they always sat in a circle, and my father was always the last to speak. And this is what it means to be a great listener. It doesn't mean you don't have the opportunity to speak. It means you allow others to speak before you. It is one of the greatest skills you will ever learn, to allow others to feel heard. It's the great leaders who do not start the conversation, they end it. For one, you get all the benefit of all of the smart people in the room. But most importantly, most importantly, the people who are there to work with you will feel heard. And even if we know the answer, simply walking into a meeting, walking into a classroom to impress everybody that you have the answer makes others feel bad, and they won't want to help you in the future. Practice being the last to speak when you're on a team. It's a remarkable, remarkable skill.